Hi guys, it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another video. You join me today back in Chichester and I'm here at West Lakes again. If you haven't seen the videos I've done already on this lake, there's a couple of couple of videos I've done, I've caught the same fish twice. What I will do is, guys, I'll put that top, top of the screen now, failing that, it will be in the description down below. Jump over to the channel, check that out. You join me here, so I'm here for the next four days. Um, I'm set up, the rods are out, I've literally just set up. It's Tuesday now, um, it's coming into spring, we're in spring now. Um, they haven't spawned yet here, but they are due. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen now for the next week because the temperature's coming right down and it fluctuates a lot. But um, hopefully that does turn the fishing on. I've got Ian joining me to tomorrow. I've got Jace potentially coming down as well. So I'm absolutely buzzing really. It's my last bit of holiday I had left over from last year. So it was either a use it or lose it sort of thing. So I used it um, just now, beginning of April. Five days left I had, so I'm here for the next sort of four to five days. So yeah, that's it. That's the update. Um, hopefully, I'm, over the next few days, I'm going to keep in the loop of what I'm doing. Hopefully put some fish on the bank for you. Um, also give you some footage as well of what I'm doing and how I'm catching them. And um, I have fished this swim before. It's a beautiful swim, but you are in the water there. Bivvy's all set up now, lovely. A couple of nets ready to go. But I've put a bit of bait out here. I've put some mix out. I'm on a spot I already know where I've fished before. And I've also got one on the margin. Um, going into the last couple of days, I think over the weekend, I think it was from, I think you call this cow's bank, but just up there over that swim or the swim up, I think sea scale come out at 42 something. So they are coming out, which is a good sign. Um, and I think a lot of the big ones have been out as well. I don't know what's due out, but it's just lovely to be on the bank. It would just be lovely to get some bites. Got the new bite alarms on, buzzing with them. Um, real happy with the setup actually. I'm gonna get some close ups of them later on in the sort of few days for you. But yeah, there it is, that's my update. Hopefully, I can get some fish on the bank and show you guys. I will see you soon. Right, a little update, just getting dark now, going into the first night, so fingers crossed we can bag one tonight, but I've had a few liners on the um, these two rods, the left and the middle rod on the spot, the bobbins pulled up tight, they were dropped right back, but they've actually gone back right up to the top now, so I've just left them, I'm going to just leave them how they are. They both went down lovely earlier. I've only had them two liners, so I'm going to leave them as they are. And hopefully tonight I've put one on the margin spot as well. Um, have sort of got my waders waded down a little bit and just a little underarm chuck. Pulled it down, dumped the lead down lovely, and then just put a handful of bait over the top of it. I've also trickled a few baits in throughout the duration of the few hours I've been here as well. But yeah. Hopefully. Tonight brings a bite. Just on the passing where them ducks are now is where my spot is, so. It is looking nice. So there it is guys, 39.14, but obviously I've got to take this sling off as well, so it's a little bit smaller than that. But what a lovely, lovely way to start this session here at West Lakes. I mean, first fish for me, I got hammered by tench last night, but I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth into the next few days. But what a way to start with one of the bigger commons in it. Or is it the biggest common or one of yeah, the Yeah, it is a big common, yeah. Big common, so yeah, happy days. <sighs> Thank you very much. I'll just show you the other side quickly guys, so you can get a gauge of that and then I'll let them go. Quite a small tail on this one, yeah. guys, as well, so yeah. But it went off like a rocket, though. It did. Yeah. Happy days. Healthy, healthy. Happy days. Thank you very much. 
very very quickly then guys that's what i just had the fish on tiny little putty there probably five and a half inch stiff boom that's 30 pound um, with a tiny little kicker on there to help kick out the bait and then a lovely little 12 mil 4c there lit in pink and these are cork balls so they sit there longer and also it i i think it helps with the craze it stops that a little bit but yeah that's what i had the fish on happy days there you go if you're not on them, get on them. The little six mils, potties, leads. I get these all made for me now, but um, the little six mil ring there on top of that, as opposed to running a swivel, I find that this doesn't pull up and go sort of clip up there, um, if that makes sense. I see that a lot. You reel it back in, because you haven't hit the clip 100%, you get that. But with that, it completely eliminates that. You don't hit the clip as hard as you need to, but you're on the money, you don't want to move it because there's fish in the area. I find that that helps massively, just having that little six mil, simple little thing, six mil on the old distance lead there. Let's get this one out. So comma number two, little gut on him, bless him. Really long lean fish that, but still got a little bit left in him. But yeah, second fish, I'm not gonna pick him up, but um, I'll give it 15, 16 pound if that. So yeah, let's get this one back, happy days. So just before, well, I've put that fish back, but just before I do, obviously the fish are out on the spot. So the first thing I'm gonna do, even before I put my rod out, I'm gonna literally just top up with a little bit of bait. So I've got to re-put the bloody bait on and all that stuff anyway, refloss it and what have you. So yeah, I'm gonna put quickly put, I don't know, five spoms out just to keep them there. Well, the spot's definitely rock, rocking. The middle rod's just absolutely held off again. Another little common, again, similar sort of size to the last one. I'm gonna let him go, get the rod straight back out get a bit more bait out on the spot and hopefully uh, bag one of these 18 we've come here for so happy days so it's quite good then guys I can't keep a rod in the water at the moment it's always the middle rod um, the spots definitely rocking I've just put a few more spawns out to top it up fingers crossed I'm getting to that that, that bigger stamp of fish would be lovely but um I'm not complaining nevertheless because it's uh, nice to get a 30 on the bank, uh, especially this early in the year, so happy days. So little update guys, um, it's probably been an hour now, um, really slowed up, I don't know whether the fish have moved over the spot, but I've topped up again with another sort of three, four spots, they hit the money spot every time, so, and I've just moved my left hand rod more over as well so i'm fishing rods probably two foot off each other um but they were all coming from the middle rod but nothing yet um but that brings me to three fish now um two around 15 odd pound and then obviously the big common um but fingers crossed i've got a few nights ahead of me i'm pleased to say so hopefully i can sort of bag a few in the time i'm here um it'd be lovely to get another one on the bank another one of the a team that i haven't had um and start ticking them off really but we'll see i'm gonna leave it at that i'll keep you updated um i might put out a few more spawns soon if i don't have anything because when i've done that before i had to take five minutes after stopping spawning um so i might top up i'm gonna play it by ear though but i'll keep you in the loop i'll see you soon so it's about three o'clock now time's getting on temperature's dropping i've just put <laughs> that much of the bottom of the bucket over there I'm gonna put out now top up the spot probably recast the rods as well and then probably even for the night to be fair Ian's down there he's setting up now he's had a mare car got stuck <laughs> well that's the bait out you can see the whacking great big flat spot coming off the back of it Everything was real tight, so fingers crossed. Two rods again, fishing a couple of foot off each other, so. I'll make this one, or two of them. Fingers crossed. So that's the left hand rod, just absolutely roared off. Little were common in there now, but um, hopefully the spot's gonna start rocking again, but that's the fourth fish, fourth common. So, fingers crossed. That's the start of action to come. Oh, he's got dinner on the rock and roll. 
bird is on the ready. <laughs> <laughs> we were just standing there a few minutes ago and there's fish showing on the in spot. So it's looking good for tonight really. Fish showing. Pressure's good. Temperature's good. Fingers crossed. It's been a really slow night guys, um, I've had nothing, it's about, I don't know, coming up to 6 o'clock now in the morning, I've just prepped some bait, as I've done that, Ian's rod is absolutely held off, so, first take for Ian really, so hopefully he can get this in and we'll show you guys uh, what he's got, happy days, a little common, stop, start the trip here. <coughs> Oh, he's struggling. He ain't ready yet, mate, is he? Go. Go on, son. Well in. Good man. Fair play, mate. So a little quick one before I put the bait out. Um, I haven't been fishing sound essential. I've been fishing four seas, but I'm running low on it. So I just wanna. I've just put in. I don't know a couple of handfuls there. Just to run it through, put it in my last bit of 4C mix to introduce it, because I'm probably going to move on to this because um, I don't have the facilities to go on. But I'll run that through and then I'll show you what's inside. Right, so now the crumbs drop through. If I get a scoop of this, I don't know if you can see that. But you've got 80 mil 4Cs, um, 15 mil, some hemp, and some spod mix over the top, some sloppy spod mix. Not that I'm fishing high up in the water, but I just think help put them down in the water to be fair. So that's the mix, and like I said, I've just put you know a couple of handfuls of the mix in as well, and then new sound essential just to spice it up. Tease them onto it a little bit in theory, because like I say, I'm running out of bait. There we go. Let's give that a go. Rods out. They all went out absolutely perfect first time, every single one of them. So I'm absolutely buzzing with that because that don't normally happen. <laughs> but yeah, no, they went out. Um, I've just put about 10 to 12 spoms over the top of it. You can see the flat spot again. Um, I've almost done what I'd done yesterday, but I've done it earlier. So when they do move in, there's not going to be a load of commotion. So hopefully, when that 11 o'clock-ish comes, it, maybe it repeats. Temperature is coming down, so you might not get the same um, as yesterday, but we'll see. Little update. Say, so coming up to 7 o'clock. Coop's annoying me. I'm going to make a brew in a minute, I think. Ian's went back to bed after his fish. I think he's topped up with bait, though. So, um, yeah, there it is. Fish number five, after just putting that bait out, probably half an hour to 45 minutes later. Smallest one I've had so far, but happy nevertheless. Hopefully that means a few to come now, they're there. Let's get them back and get the rod back out. Middle rod back out on the spot, went out nice. Swan coming in, or swans coming in and annoying me, but Respect the nature and all that. Shouldn't have messed up that last spawn, should I, swans? <laughs> Some middle rods just teared off with a bloody tench on the end. I mean, I prefer tench to broom, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah same spot always the same it's always the middle rod it's really really strange i've only had one on the left hand rod 
there might be a spot within a spot but we'll see hopefully they're there it's starting to rain now definitely colder you can feel the temperatures definitely sort of cooler than it has been so we're coming into the afternoon now and my middle rod's just ramped off and I caught another tench I think that brings a total to four tench now five cut nice tench nevertheless but we ain't here for them green things Another comment. Very nice. I'll give that what, 15 pounds? Yeah, about 15. <laughs> well done mate, getting back. <laughs> What'd you have on there mate? Uh, one of these 18 mil Atlantic heats sitting on the bottom bait. Are you fishing them on their own or with a little bag or? Uh, no, single straight out and then catapulting a few handfuls just around the bait. They smell nice meaty, ain't they? Yeah. Yeah, just off a standard multi rig. Happy days, doing the business. Yeah, second them on today, same spot, same bait. Hopefully the next one's a bit bigger. <laughs> well done, Mish. So what you've been doing, casting and then just catapulting? How many baits? Uh, about 25, 30. Oh yeah, nice. That's perfect, isn't it, for you? You're gonna get it in, first time, mate. It's in the money. So I thought I'd give you a little update guys. The sun's out at the moment, it's looking nice. But Ian's just had that one off his spot. It's around five o'clock now. So bait is done. I'm not gonna put any more bait out. I topped up early. I'll probably put about 15 spawns out of just boiling. So I've been hammered with uh, tench on that middle rod on the spot. Where I've been having all the fish from the tent you obviously moved in so hopefully they move out tonight and the big boys move in um, but yeah looking good temperatures coming down lovely it's just looking nice and I think the fish are definitely sitting on the back of this wind the hit the wind's been hacking down the other end all day and sort of going into last night but I think they're definitely sitting on the back which is good so yeah that's the update really guys I'm not much more to say but I will keep you in the loop Fingers crossed, next time you see me, we've got a fish. <laughs> see you in a bit. Good morning, guys. You join me in Ian's swim. His rod is absolutely just melted off. I didn't get any footage of him playing it because um, we were just at, you know, really looking to get the fish because he could tell he straight away said it's a bigger fish. So we just concentrated and getting the thing in the net. It's in the net, we've quickly put it in the sling while he's got his rod back out, he's putting it out, putting it out now. Um, it's been a very slow front again for me through the night, alongside Ian. Nothing in the night, very, very slow, very strange really, because the night action on previous times I've come here, I've had fish, but this time I haven't, so very, very strange. But without further ado, without rambling, let's get this unit on the bank and show you guys. How big then, mate? 29 as well, 2813 it went in. New PB, proper New PB. old fit. What'd you have on? Uh, the Banoffi High Aluminiums. Good went man. This morning over a bed of uh, strawberry dune, crushed up. So fishing about 16 wraps out into the middle of the lake. Rip, absolutely ripped off of it. Roared off, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well done, mate. She's a proper old carp, isn't she? Proper old warrior. Let's get a bit of. <sighs> it's been through its paces. And what, from the research we'd done, look at a quick pictures, it was either the stub nose mirror or a fish they called a warrior apparently. So there you go guys. I think it'd be rude not to get in the water of a new PB mate, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Would you have it on there, mate? Yeah, uh, I had it on these high visual pop ups, banoffee flavour. What amazes ago, never really used them. And uh, I've got the strawberry dream at the moment, so I thought I'd try them out. And yeah, rip very out. similar colour to the strawberry dream, yeah, though, isn't yeah, it? It's so. just a little bit brighter, than obviously, than the high vis. So yeah, no, it's great stuff, mate. Happy days. But it's quarter past nine now, a little update. I think I'm going to stay one more night and then leave tomorrow midday. But I've just topped up with about another 10 to 15 spoms there on the spot. Um, as you know, I was running out of bait, so I just put the sale and the essential out. I'll probably add about two and a half kilo, if that. So I'll probably put out a kilo of bait on the spot again. But fingers crossed that turns them on. That's what I've done every single morning since I've been here, and it has produced the fish. So I've repeated that again today, and hopefully it does. We've got rain coming in this afternoon. Ian's leaving. We've got a gentleman up there's turned up as well. Um, nice bloke, but yeah, it is very, very, very slow at the moment. Par the fish Ian had this morning, so that's the update, guys. So, just recasting for the evening. Very, very, very slow day. Wind's been picking up across the lake, hacking down the bottom end. Now them two rods I'm fishing very, very close to each other, very close to each other. Ian's gone as you saw earlier, so I'm gonna be a little bit naughty, well not naughty at all, nobody's over there if you look. But I'm gonna flick one where he had um, stub nose this morning, which if you can see out there, there's, well I'm tipping my finger, there's a spawn, and I was watching him put his bait out, so I know roughly where he's fishing. So I've just pinged the lead out there, clipped it, cast it back out it's dropping down lovely on the spot so all I've done is come back into the warm um, two and a half ounce lead uh, with a I've actually run out of the six mil ones now which is a pain tiny little kicker um, some 30 pound semi stiff end trap it's not too not too um, sort of stiff but not too sort of soft it's sort of in the middle and I find that it, it sort of comes out very very nice kicks itself out naturally when you when you cast it tiny little bit there putty on the bottom yeah so moving down there i've just just nicked the little bit off there so there's a little bit of suppleness there right where the hook is tiny little it's a underneath there is a size four ridge monkey curve shank hook tiny little bit of um shrink tube on the top there to give it the kicker to make that eye that little bit longer um following the curvature of the eye as well with a tiny little 12 mil essential sail pop up on there. That's done me wonders all over the show, including a broad trip. So I'm just gonna, no extra bait, I'm just literally just gonna put that on Ian's spot where he's put the, um, put the bait over the duration in the last couple of days. So there it is, that's what I'm doing. There's the update, guys. Smashed it, bait out. That one out lovely, them two went out lovely as discussed a second ago. Like I said, I've just probably put, 10 15 spoms ready for tonight hopefully last night definitely going tomorrow um last night let's see whether we can bag one of them 18 before we pack up apparently there's two guys fishing the opposite end of the bank now but i don't think there's anyone sort of around here so and the wind again is constantly hacking down that end day now updates on fish fish count five tench five carp Ian had two um, so that's seven fish all in all um, five tench so there you go there's the update well it's four in the morning carp number six He's a bit of a lively one, so I'm just going to unhook him and let him go. It's probably about 16, 17 pound that one. So happy days. Hopefully that's the start of a couple of fish. Part of that fish I had last night at about four o'clock, nothing. But I've been absolutely battered. The wind, you can see all the debris where it's been smashing in here, but the wind's actually sort of going down that end of the lake at the moment now. It's turned ever so slightly. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. I think I'm gonna give it a couple of hours and then call it a day, I think. Right, so that's it. The session is drawing to a close now for me. I've even brung a rod in um, because I've just had a tension on that. I've just put the rod away. I've run out of bait. 
I'm running out of time. It's freezing cold. I need to have a shower as well. But it's been a great session down here at Chichester. Um, West Lakes again. Thanks to Ralph and the team here. Um, bailiffs, wicked. Even one of the bailiffs. I can't remember your name, mate. I, mate, apologise, but thank you very much for helping me bring my gear around as well. Because I had a lot of gear and a lot of bait to start off in this session. But hopefully you like this. Hopefully you've liked this video, guys. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Also, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next fishing vlog. And hopefully I'll be down here to finish off that business I started and catch some of them. A team I'm after. Um, they're definitely out there, it's just getting them on the bank now. Um, that fish in the end, I just wanted to state that I think it was um, when I took the sling off, it was 35 14, so a little bit smaller than what I said, um, but took the sling off, and that's what it was. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.